I had a super cool review today. Uh, this company here, Tobinon, uh, sent me over this cool USB dock. You can see here, uh, it's USB-C dock. I love, I love USB-C docks because I like minimal setup. Um, my setup table here is kind of out of control, but I really like to have like a, like a, I really like the idea of having like an ultra book, plug in a dock like this over USB-C and you get all of these ports. You can go super minimalistic. Like, say you have like a ThinkPad or a ThinkBook or a MacBook or whatever it is. Um, I just like like a streamlined setup. So let's unbox it here. It's got good weight to it, which is always a good sign when it comes to like a dock because there's Yep, so like I said, this has power delivery, so it will supply power to your laptop, um, which is important. You can see there, nice charger. I mean, it's a nice charger in general. These can be expensive, these 100 watt chargers, so that's a good value right there. Okay, what's in here? Something else in here. Oh, these are the USB-C cables. Really nice presentation here. This stuff does matter. Uh, so this is one of the USB-Cs, this is the other one. They look like they're identical. So, uh, but you have both, so you can you know, power your device and then this goes to your laptop. So they give you two, which is nice because these things, again, can be kind of expensive. So the power indicator when it's on. Headphone, microphone, jack, USB-C. So this will be the first USB-C um, to USB 3.0. It's nice to have these on the front so you can plug in USB keys, you know, plug those in there. And on the sides, there's nothing. Back here, micro SD card, SD card, so normal two USB 2.0, mouse, keyboard, you know, webcams, that kind of stuff. USB 3.0, so that'd be important for like faster devices if you have like a SATA SSD, external SATA SSD or something. VGA, dual HDMI, so I'll test those out on my screen. Uh, internet, I do have that I can test out. And then you have your power in. This is where you're gonna actually plug it in from the wall, like so. And then this is gonna go into your computer, the host there. So. Uh, yeah, let's get it tested up. Let's get it started up. We can see there. Okay, so let's start plugging things in here. Let's say this is my Microsoft Surface tablet or my Dell tablet or whatever. You know, my uh, my old Z13 that I had that had two USB-C ports. So this is an NVMe drive. So it's quick. Um, so the USB-C is on the front of this guy. So we'll plug it in there. And uh, yeah, obviously it's power delivery, so it should supply enough power for this thing to work. There it is, and P3 plus, so I mean, that's working. Okay, so now what I'll do is I'll plug in, this is a my, uh, Samsung bar. These are like really, really fast for thumb drives, like extremely fast. And then I have here a USB 3.0 rather than 3.2. So this is it, so you can see the Samsung drive there going at 360, that's fast, real fast for a thumb drive, be expected. This is the drive here, we'll plug this into the 3.2 there. Okay, and that's I, let that do its thing. This one is not nearly as fast here. You can see that drive there. This drive is nowhere near as fast as the Samsung bar, probably half the speed or something like that. Yep, so I mean, that's working, you can see there. This is, this is it's also a USB 3 drive, but it's way slower, and that's USB 3 speed, so that's to be expected. The Samsung bar, is capable, it did like 300, you saw there. See if that worked, uh, plugged in. I have another peripheral that I'm gonna plug in here. This is a uh, ThinkPad keyboard and trackpad, because um, maybe you don't have a keyboard, you know, you're using some other device. And there we go. You can see the mouse there. So, I mean, we just keep plugging things in. It's gonna work. So, I mean, you know, you have yourself a tablet like this. You can use the keyboard here, you can set it up. You know, you can plug in mouse and keyboard, actual mouse, uh, USB dongles all over the place here, NVMe drive that's apparently just ripping. Uh, it's a good drive in there, it's a P5 Plus, so it's a very fast drive. If you're a video editor on the go, you know, a lot of people use cameras to do video editing, so you're gonna have an SD card or a micro SD card. I actually don't have a normal SD card, but I do have micro SD cards. Um, so, you know, you take your little computer with you, well, it's already there, that's yeah, a four gigabytes, it's a little tiny guy here, see down there. And uh, give it a sec, and we should have internet in a moment. Immediately, we have internet. Let's test it. My little, my younger brother's video here. Now we're no longer on Wi-Fi. We're on Ethernet, which is way faster, obviously, for some people. The Google one, I guess. 
So whatever, it's quick. 250 megabytes a second, that's fine for a little dock. The ethernet in here, we have a bunch of dongles and things plugged in there. We have our uh, mouse and keyboard plugged in. Most people nowadays don't have HDMI on their laptop unless you have a gaming laptop or something or like a full size productivity ThinkPad, you know, 16 inch or whatever. You probably don't have an ethernet cable. Like I can almost guarantee you don't have that. And it's probably likely that you don't have HDMI. Uh, you may have like a display port over USB-C, but then again, you're gonna eat up a USB-C. So let's plug this in here and see what happens. Put the HDMI in there. Bam. It's like working, you can see there. Let it do its thing. So there we go. Um, HDMI into this bad boy here into the laptop, into there. It's supplying power still. Boom, double HDMI, one, two, three. So, uh, you know, you have your tablet or you have your laptop and there's only so much I can plug in. With this, I can power my laptop and I have all of these things plugged in, dual HDMI out, and I still have a free port over here, but that's just me. You know, I've been around for a long time and uh, VGA used to be what we used. For me, I like to use a VGA cable or a DVI, whichever, on my older monitor. So this monitor here is an extremely high-end older monitor um, and it uses HDMI. It doesn't have HDMI, it uses DVI or VGA. It's perfect for when I hook up and do like retro gaming because of the square aspect ratio. I don't know, it just makes me feel cool. So, you know, it does support VGA, which is perfect. Okay, so now I'm breaking the rules. Um, they specifically have Mac products. This is not one of them. So they, they brand all their items. And just as a test here, I plugged in an HDMI cable. So uh, this main screen here is plugged directly into my Mac. This one is not. And uh, you can see my Mac doesn't even have two HDMI ports. So obviously this is what it is. And uh, yeah, you know, it's working totally fine. Got my Mac hooked up to here, dock hooked up over here. HDMI plugged in, HDMI. Um, it's not mirrored apparently, it's just separate. You can see all my drives up here. This is coming out of the Mac itself. This is coming out of the um, dock here and it worked great. So I think, you know, for most people, if you have multiple platforms here, you're good to go. So, I mean, it's also great for Mac. Again, it's not specifically for Mac. So if you have a Mac item, if you specifically use Mac, I'd probably buy their Mac branded stuff because it'll fit in nice and it will, you know. So this is what I mean when I'm saying that they have specific Mac and Windows. If you come to their website, it's the same on Amazon. Uh, it looks like they have, you know, these are the Windows ones here. And then you come over here and then they have Mac stuff. And uh, yeah, so it looks like it's specific. Oh, and then they have this one as an NVMe, for example. So it looks like they have some pretty cool stuff, uh, probably just right up here. And uh, the nice thing is then I can use it with my tablet right here. I can use it with my desktop, which is under my desk, but it's right there. And I can use it with if I have like devices that I'm testing, which is another desktop that I'm testing over there. I can plug all these in here. I don't have to necessarily always have wires all over the place. I can literally just switch the uh, host wire between that computer, this computer, that computer. Some people actually just want a super clean setup. You know, they don't want to have a desktop computer and a laptop. Most of the time they're hooked into their desktop computer, which is actually just a laptop plugged into something like this. And, uh, you know, other than potentially a little of the performance that you get out of a desktop, you certainly aren't losing a lot of the expansion because you can turn something like your Microsoft tablet or your thin and light laptop and turn it into basically a productivity powerhouse just with just a dock like this. So I'm pretty happy they sent this over. I'm gonna be using it on multiple devices. Um, check out their website. I mean, this is just one of them. They have tons of them. Again, if you have a Mac, they have stuff for Macs. If you have PC, they have stuff for PC. They have all kinds of different stuff, but uh, yeah, check it out and see what they have.